Hi guys, I am back again for another video. We are going to go through my journal for um, my August journal. Um, and I think you're going to absolutely love it. This is for inspiration. It's for, you know, getting a grasp of how the method and how you can script your life and the desires of your heart in the journal for success. So let's just dive right in. I am still in Yazabel in a wide and she is our our own designed traveler's notebooks out of genuine leather this is our croc line we have three um so anyway this is um this is my journal for september this is and i will show you that in a later video this is my september um obviously planner and a flip through coming on that so let's go through and this wasn't the assigned journal for the August sub box, but I had one of these on hand that was empty and I wanted to use her and I decided I'll use the other mermaid, which was the assigned August journal for something else. So I was in love with her anyways. And so I was, I was so obsessed that I didn't want to ever let her go. I just loved free to be me. And, um, I just had to write in her again. So this is my vision board one. And if you want to see that video, I do show you some of what I did with this um, in, in this video here. So you can check that out. But I wrote vision journal because this is exactly what this is. This really is just another form of visual visualization. You can actually do both. And I advise it, especially before you go to sleep at night. It's a way to retrain the subconscious mind. We'll be talking about that in some other videos, and I do already have videos up on that. Um, here is my um, some of the, the the home things that I wanted to do. It was just some of the home things I wanted to really get it all out there. I didn't know for sure if this would be the month that I would pursue it. I don't know when when and how and all of that. All I know is that I was detailed on exactly how I really wanted that to kind of look, including my body, my bedroom, my business, my kitchen, my basement. Um, author, YouTube, health, family, so many different things that I really wanted to cover. And I got real detailed on exactly how I seen myself in the desired end of it being. So when I go to, let's say, my perfect body, what does that look like? What am I feeling like? What am I doing in the first person? So it's almost like it is like you are in your body. You're not looking at yourself like you're on a movie screen. You really need to embody it. Now, when you script, if you have trouble visualizing in that way, when you close your eyes at night, you can, it's just another tool. Um, you can do it with scripting. And that's what scripting, why it's so successful because you're using so much scripting with detail that it creates an image in your mind. And so you can feel it and see it and it really sets and and you are, you are, impressing the subconscious mind, which is who and what creates change. Um, so you want it to work for you, not against you. And this is why we do this. We've got a lot of garbage in that subconscious mind, things that we've just really allowed to be there. And so our actions, beliefs, and our world is really a mirror of what's inside. And if there's something we don't like on the outside, well, then it's time to change it. Um, and so this, by seeing this, and, and by seeing our world, we know of what we need to change. It's like, well, I don't like this and I don't like that and I don't like that. Well, there's some reprogramming to do. Then let's let's change it into what is wanted. And not all, always is it a um, subconscious thing. Some things are just there for you to create a wonderful desired change about and to see it come into fruition. So I'm um, going to take dominion and to... Um, create that vision that you're wanting and allow God to work through you. And so that's what this is all about. I love doing kind of a gratitude, kind of a I, every morning, just kind of waking up and doing things. Um, you can do revisions at night. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, I do revisions all the time. I remember when I'm going to kind of go over that with you in another video, but here's just daily entry entries. Do not let your heart be troubled. Um, Uh, and just, I did a feeling tracker. I didn't even do it. I trackers and I don't work. They just don't, but I love the, I loved even just the idea of it. And I thought, okay, you know what? But it kept me kind of like when I looked at it, I was like, yeah, 
it's really making sure that you are keeping a handle on your moods and how you're feeling because when you're feeling good and you're feeling joyful and you're feeling gratitude, then you are aligned with your higher good and you're emitting higher vibrations, which is where God is and who God is. And when you align with God, that's where all good things flow. So we want to make sure that we are aligned. And that is really when you're grateful for something that you that is unseen, that is faith because you're walking in faith. You're blindly walking in faith. It is of the unseen and you still, you're grateful for it. You know, you're in a knowing place. So that's where that high vibration lies. So watch and track your moods. Um, dreams and goals. Here's where I use some scrap paper. I loved it. I use this from just different paper books. Um, I got one at Target um, and Flow Magazine. So here I just kept on writing. And what I will do is some days, it's not like I don't, I will rewrite some um, of my desires down. I will rewrite some things that I'm grateful for. I will write down some things that manifested. I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is what's happened. Or I will, you know, um, talk about or listen to um, or read something. And or when I'm done reading the Bible, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is profound. And I will write it um, out and talk about it. So that's kind of what I'm doing here. I also will rewrite desires with all of its visual intention. And when you really feel like, you know, and this will be in another video too, um, when to really let that vision go and to just let it go, just give it up to God and you're just going to have to let it go. But you'll know when you're ready, when you're just kind of bored of it all. Like you're like, you know what, how many times do I have to visualize this end for me? That's when you know you're ready to drop that seed, cover it up, and just let it go. Just forget about it. Just give it up. Just give it up. Just, yeah. And that's when you're going to line up with it and it's going to manifest in, in the world. So here I would write other little mini desires, any new desires. I would come back. I would throw back images of, here's two of my sons, um, writing down things about my health things that I notice, things that every day it's kind of like what I'm spiritually feeling, how am I doing, um, what, I'm, what I'm feeling, um, what I want, what I desire, how I feel, and um, what I've learned. Um, sometimes like here, new ideas for homeschooling. I got a God download. And so I wrote it down. I mean, God, in your quietness, and when you're aligned and you're really feeling good, God speaks and he's always speaking, but he, we got to be able to hear him. And when we're really feeling good and really monitoring our moods like that, that's when you're going to hear um, God give you the downloads that are completely tailored to you, your desires and your life. So listen for those. Now, this is the video I was talking about that I've already done. You can catch that. I'll just link that up here. But this is how I did my main vision board of everything I wanted to do. I just put it in bubbles and I thought it was very beautiful. I just took little stickers and things from like a flow magazine and such. And this is what I got. And um, this is just really fun because then I did it this way to kind of a visual interest. And then on this, these pages, you know, it was more, I would go through details of what that looked like and what those were more in detail. So um, I loved just here is when um, I was reading something from Florence Scovelshin. Um, and I really, really just loved so many different passages that she was writing. And so I wrote them down and what those meant to me and, and, and just how exciting that really made me feel, um, such as like dig your ditches, you know, like in the Bible and how we need to get ready for things that are not seen for them to be seen. I mean, we literally prepare for the things wanted and that you're in your knowing place and you're digging your ditches. I just love that so much. Um, and stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. Um, how Christianity is founded on the law of forgiveness and, um, life doesn't happen to me. It happens through me. That's pretty powerful. How about casting your burden? My yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is a perfect place to be able to write down what you are learning and growing spiritually awakening to. 
So the last days and um, August 31st, the last days, and here we're going into September. And um, where I really kind of even announced the ones that I dropped into the ground. Like, you know, these are the desires I'm dropping. And um, that's documentation. These are documentations. All of this is. You're going to go back into these and it's gonna, you're going to flip your lid. You're going to flip your lid of the things that you wrote down that now, you know, in, in the next journal, in the next month or in two months from now in a journal, you're going to see how, how God, you had allowed all of God's best to work through you. And um, it's so exciting to know that, that you had your faith. And even though it might have got rocky in the middle, you got back up because that truly is the journey anyway. Because if you think about it, all of the dreams and goals that you have, what if you got them all today? I mean, you don't want them all today. I mean, you know, it's like all of these things, could you really even handle them all today? So it's the journey. It is the journey. It's getting rid of false negative beliefs. It's it's the journey of awakening. It's the journey of 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 having spiritual truth be your default instead of what's been programmed by the world, by, by, by parents, by, you know, anybody that intentionally or unintentionally, you know, uh, it's just one of those things that this is the journey girls. This is the journey. And to document it like this and to have the desires of your heart, believing in the unseen before it comes, it's not, we're not petitioning in God outside of us. We're believing in what already is done from a God who's inside of us. And so our job is to just allow. That's what we're doing. We're not petitioning in God's, God's laws are fixed. This isn't a, this isn't a case by case prayer answered scenario. God's laws are fixed and no respecter of persons. If you know God's laws and you know how to pray and you know how to interpret scripture then you are abiding and aligning with God's laws. And when that happens, and when you can line up with that, where your heart and your mind sink, so you believe God's truth, now you're cooking, and all of the desires of your heart begins to overflow, and your barns will be full. Girls, that is my journal flip through. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that's inspired you. Leave me a comment below on how you're doing with your scripting in your journal each month when you get this in your subscription box of your journal and your planner. They are to be used together to document your life, record, script your desires and record the manifestations and answered prayer and um, watch your life unfold into its beauty. Girls, that's it for now. Until next time.